looking face to face with that circumstance, so that circumstance with the enemy, and say, You are not crossing this line, you're not bringing this sickness in, and therefore, this you are taking your stand. You. I speak what the word of God says. Glory to God. And so, don't allow the mistakes of your past to weigh you down. The mistakes, the mistakes have been made. Move ahead. Because God's mercy is available for you. People may want to remind you of all the things you have done wrongly in the past. Don't pay attention to them. They are not God in your life. No man should take the place of God in your life. Hallelujah. Don't allow it. Don't allow it. Don't even allow your spouse to take the place of God in your life. Because no man can take the place of God in your life. If God says that he shows you mercy and men are using their tongue to destroy you with their mouth and tell you, reminding of all the things you have done wrongly, how you have made mistakes, how you have done this, how you have done that, don't listen to them. Don't listen to them. Look up to God who is rich in mercy. Glory to God. <laughs> and let me tell you, if you read Isaiah, I understand Isaiah's restoration plan. You understand that when God is true with you, he will take you beyond where you should have been right now. Hallelujah. Amen. All the years that the locusts, the puma one, the kaka one, the caterpillars they have eaten, God will restore the years to you in one year. You are going to reap the harvest of 10 years in one year. In the name of Jesus. You didn't hear me. I said you reap the harvest of 10 years in one year. And this year, that year, in the name of Jesus, glory to God. I said glory to Jesus. Amen.